The Dream SMP has just gotten a brand new fresh world, which means people can have a fresh restart and grind for things all over again. So let's talk about everything from how the law will work on this new world, how to get to this new world and much more. Now recently we've seen the storyline for the Dream SMP really pick back up. We've seen Dream escape from prison, which was one of the main things from stopping other people from adding to the storyline. We've seen Quaxi's latest law stream, which was insane. And now we've got an entirely brand new map for the server. And it's kind of come around randomly. There was no announcement or anything like that that this was going to be happening and all we got was Rambu going live with the title waiting for the world to change and him announcing that the Dream SMP would get a new world for 1.18 Minecraft. And I can't lie, we've already talked about this on the channel before. I've theorised before that they would be creating a brand new world for this update because this update is pretty massive and if you want to get the full extent of all the new generation, creating a brand new world would be the best way to go about it. And they've finally gone and done it. And before you ask, have they reset? Set the entire world? No, no they haven't. Of course they're not. There's so many different storylines continuing on that world and so much lore that happened on that world. To get rid of it would literally make Twitter cry. Imagine the trending page, oh my god. But also make Foolish cry because have you seen the amount of hours that guy has spent on the server building these crazy builds? Yeah, they're not going to be resetting the world anytime soon, but I can possibly see them resetting the world in the far future, especially for a lore stream. Now this would be the biggest lore stream to ever happen because I feel like the only way they'd ever think about resetting that whole world would be if the whole world did get destroyed. And I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't put it past Dream and Wilbur to collab and just create a new creator, but this time it's the, it's the whole server, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So how did they actually access this world? Basically, Dream has added a plugin which allows you to access different worlds through the Minecraft portal system. Callahan went onto the server and created a custom portal, did a few commands to make sure that the portal worked, and you can basically stand in this this new portal, it will do the whole animation and then you'll get teleported into the brand new world. Which means you can go back and forth between both of the maps, you can carry items over between the two and so much more. Now when this portal was being created, Turbo was saying that he didn't want people to be super stacked because it would be very boring if everybody just carried all their items over into this new world and he said he wanted people to grind again. Basically try not bring anything into this new world and just start from zero. Get all your wood, get all the iron and things like that. And a lot of them did and I'm sure they're going to carry on doing that because I feel like as soon as you start bringing overpowered items into the server it will get super boring and super dull because once you've gotten everything in the game what can you basically do you can build new things and that's about it so starting from zero and starting fresh is the best way to kind of revive everything a lot of people were getting bored and they either just weren't playing on the server or doing other things and I feel like having a brand new world where people can willingly choose to start fresh is going to mean that there's going to be a lot more streams of people just grinding and making new houses building building new stuff and talking to each other and maybe making their own lore in the world. Which leads me to talk about the lore and maybe a possibly new storyline starting on this entirely new world. Now, I believe that the main storyline and everything we know from the prison storylines and before will keep on happening on the main world. There's no point to move it over onto the new world. But eventually I can see something happening that the main storyline does slowly get shifted onto this new world. But I don't want to talk about the old storyline and the current storyline. I want to talk about the future and maybe new storylines starting on this brand new world because nobody has a character in this new world really they can carry on their character from the previous storylines and everything like that but they have the possibility of creating a brand new character brand new teams brand new countries brand new clans and creating a completely different thing that coincides with the main stuff and obviously it's going to be a lot smaller than the main stuff and they don't want it to kind of interact or merge into one and mess up everything and even confuse people but they can do little characters for every now and again create some improv stuff and some similar to the stuff that's happening on Origins where it's not major stuff and they're not going to make massive lore streams for it but it's just stuff that happens while they're live. And I had a very cool idea for a way they could do the residents of Lemanberg escaping from Lemanberg after it got exploded and turned into a crater and running through this portal into the new world finding a massive cave and creating a colony in there creating a city in one of the caves which they can call like New Lemanberg or, or something to do with running away and escaping I don't know I'm not creating the names but there's so many possibilities for them to do in this new world which could contain old stuff from the storylines and people just running away and, and starting fresh. Now we just have to wait and see what massive building Foolish is gonna make.